Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a nether wart farm so that you can farm one-handed while still collecting the maximum amount of nether wart. I actually used this design while farming one-handed, and I was able to get gold in the nether wart Jacobs contest, which is a pretty competitive contest. As you can see, I already have a 240 by 240 maximum island size farm built, but I'm going to build a smaller version from scratch so that I can show you guys the exact steps that you should take. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is actually build a giant slab of soul sand for the entire width and length of the farm that you plan on building. So I just filled up my inventory with soul sand. If you're going to build a full island sized farm, you're probably going to have to fill up several backpacks worth of soul sand, or you're going to have to make many trips back to the builder. But because I'm just going to build a 21 by 21 block farm, just for an example, I'm only going to fill up my inventory right now, and then I'm going to go back to my island. So the easiest way to do this is to actually use the builder's wand. So I put my soul sand into the builder's wand. So you just want to build one row of soul sand for the length of however long you want your farm to be. In most cases, you're going to want to build it the entire width of your island, so go ahead and do that. In this case, I'm just going to build 21 soul sand here just for this example. So in my case, I'm going to use the builder's wand right now and bring this 21 blocks over, but in your case, you're probably just going to want to do this for the entire length of your island. Okay, so now that you have a slab of soul sand, the next thing you want to do is clear a path on the two opposite sides that you're going to be farming down. So for instance, if I'm going to farm this up and down, what I actually want to do is clear out a path on this side and then at the other end. So I can just take a golden shovel with efficiency five and I can just insta break it right here. You can etch this out by flying or you can just stand on the soul sand and do it like this. I'm just going to do this and quickly build it like that. And there we go. And then you want to come down here and you want to do it again on this side. If you accidentally break a piece, don't worry, just place it back down and you'll be fine. And then you just go like this and there you go. So see how I have it here. You're going to actually farm going up and down and on the sides you actually have this cleared off. So when we're going to be farming this, we want to be farming four rows at a time of nether wart. So what you want to do is divide this up so that it has four blocks and then there's a row to farm down and then another four blocks and then a row to farm down, etc. So we're going to start over here. We're going to plant right on the very edge. So you want to go one, two, three, four, and then you want to start clearing right there. Once again, you can do this by flying or you can actually sit down like this and just move over like that. If you miss one, just go right back and make sure you clear it out. So it may be easier if you divide all of the pieces first, just so you make sure you're counting correctly. So you have one, two, three, four, and then you break this, then one, two, three, four. I'll just break one right there, and then one, two, three, four, and then I'll break one. One, two, three, four, and then I'll break this. So it just so happens that in my example, we're able to perfectly divide this into segments of four nether wart rows each. But if it ends up being uneven, that's okay. Just do as much as you can for the last row. The last row doesn't have to be even, but you do want to make sure that you have a border here at the end. So you want to make your last row one before the edge here. So now that you have it marked off, you can just finish marking off these rows. If you fall, just make sure you can fly back up. So as you can see, the farm is now divided into segments of four rows each that are completely able to be flown around, with the exception of the very first segment over here. And that's because because we're going to start off right here. So we don't actually need a spot to fly around that's on the left side over here. So now you can actually plant the nether wart. It definitely helps to have a nether wart pouch, but if you don't have one, you could plant them by hand. But what I'm gonna do is just go into the bazaar. I'm just gonna go to nether warts. I'm gonna simply fill up my inventory with nether warts, then open up the pouch, put them all into the pouch. In your case, you're gonna probably have to fill up this nether wart pouch a ton of times, but it's okay. You can just keep going to the bazaar. It does help if you have a cookie because you can type slash BZ, but otherwise you can go into the hub every time and just keep going to the bazaar it's all right. It won't take that long. Then you can simply plant another wart by just right clicking at the beginning of each row like this, and it'll just go down and you can just keep doing this. While you're planting, you might want to keep track of how much nether warts you have left in your pouch, because if you end up running out mid row, you'll have to actually then go down the row and actually start again from the middle of that row. But that's okay. It's really not that big of a deal. All right. So we now have all this nether wart planted. We don't need this extra little bit here at the end. I'm just going to break this one off. So now the next thing you want to do is block off a path for you to farm so that you're able to do it one handed. So if you want to start at this end, what you'd want to do is place soul sand there and there and then you would want to place it here and then you want to skip this next one and then you want to place it here and here you're going to skip every other one and place your soul sand here so basically you want to place soul sand so that you can make a snake path so since we did it over here on this end we're then we're going to go down here to this end we actually want it blocked off here just so we don't accidentally go this way and then the snake will go this direction we want to block off here and then here. So basically it's the opposite of what we did at the other end. So now what we have is a full path so that we can go as a snake and we can fly basically this way, then this way, then down this way, and then back down. And you basically go on all the way until you get to the end. Now what we want to do is set ourselves up to be able to do it one handed. So you want to go in here and you want to change your keybinds by going into controls. You want to change button one to space for attack and destroy. And then 
you want to go down to where you would normally have jump. And instead of having that be space, you want to have that be button one, which is your left mouse button. That way you now can do this one handed. So for this next part, I'm going to use my actual farm as the example. So here we are at my full size farm to show you guys how to do this. But before I do, it'd be super awesome since you guys made it this far into the video. If you could just hit that like button and also please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you can find out when I post other guides about Hypixel Skyblock. It would really help me out because we're getting really close to YouTube rank. We're actually almost there. So hopefully with your guys help in the next month or two, we can actually get YouTube rank. So anyway, before we start farming this nether wart, it helps to have the not enough updates mod installed as well as the patcher mod installed. I'll have the links to those in the description of the video. The reason why you want the NEU mod installed is because if you see in the bottom corner of my screen right there, it shows the angle that you're facing and it really helps to face an exact specific angle while we're farming this. And the reason why you want the patcher mod installed is because patcher has a feature which lets you use 1.8.9, but still have the 1.12 hitboxes. And that helps a lot while being able to actually reach all the other word. So you want to make sure that you have those two mods installed. If you do have the not enough updates mod installed, you want to have cultivating on your nether wart's hoe because that enables the actual angle to show up on the bottom left corner of the screen. So depending on which direction you're farming in, you either want to be at an angle of 113 or you want to be at an angle of 67. So the way that my farm is, I actually want to be at an angle of 113. So I'm going to get there right now. If you can't get to exactly 113 degrees or 67 degrees, you can get as close as you can. So for instance, I got to 112.95, which is pretty darn close. So right now I'm holding both the W button and the space bar and we're just traveling down this at an angle of about 113 degrees and I'm farming these four rows of nether warts. Um, this is pretty much the optimal way to farm. I'm only using one hand right now. The only thing you have to do is make sure that your mouse is aiming so that you're actually getting all of this nether wart. So now what I did when I got to the end of that row is I instead I just held the S button down and so now I'm holding the S button down and space instead of the W button and I'm just going backwards down this row and as you see I'm still getting all four rows. Because you're flying you don't have to worry about the speed your speed is just kind of an automatic thing by the way it goes without saying but you're going to want to use a personal compactor and make sure that you have a enchanted nether wart in it it also helps if you have a mutant nether wart in it as well so basically if you have the path all blocked off properly then all you have to end up doing is just holding the space bar and then either the w key or the s key depending on which direction you're going it's worth noting that when you're turning the corners you may have to hit the a or the d key in order to actually turn properly but once you actually turn the corner you should only have to hold either w or s if you're at a high farming level you should be able to get around 5 million coins per hour by farming nether wart. So it is definitely worth building. But if you're not at a high farming level, I highly recommend you building a sugarcane farm, which I have a video on as well. And you should farm on the sugarcane farm until you get a high level. And then you can go back to farming on the nether wart farm. By the way, if you happen to run out of space and you need to build another layer of nether wart, all you have to do is just make sure that the notches where you're flying line up. So that way, when you're done with one layer, you can just fly upward a little bit and just continue to farm the next layer. Otherwise, everything is pretty much the same for any additional layers that you build. Well, if this video helped you out, it'd be great if you could leave me a like, and most importantly, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'm really close to YouTube rank, and with your help, hopefully we can get there in no time. Well, until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace, reminding you to embrace the baldness.